love talking to as well. You know, you're definitely an articulate type of a man. Um, but speaking about, you know, styles and stuff like that, who do you believe that would win that I'm fight? Who do you believe would win Spence. that fight? I think he's the bigger guy. He has good experience. He has big amateur or also background. You know, he was in Olympics also. So I just go towards him. It's no nothing against like Crawford. You know, he's amazing fighter. Both of them are good fighters. It's like just what we need as a fans. You know, just make the fight and see who's better. That's it. You know, it's simple as that. It's like all this. Who's going to win? Who's going to knock the guy out or something? You know, it's it's like nonsense. I don't understand. We just need. We just speak. You know, as a fans, who who would want? You know, like Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson. You no, know? we will never know. You know, who who would win because they never. It was from different era, so so I hope they will get into the ring and it's big fight. You know, it's big for boxing and that's what boxing needs. Like Rwanda against Ryan Garcia. Then Spence Crawford, you know, Benavides Canelo, it's like other big fights. So it's so many big fights can be made. So, you know, we, we talked about other fights. Do you believe yeah, that's yeah, a 50-50 sure. fight as both well? Both are good. Both, both are good fighters. It's 50-50. Do you believe that a fight goes the distance? It could. Yeah, this fight, it, it could go the distance. Now, when when you talk about yourself, when we talk about these great fighters, you, Boots Ennis, you know, Rashidi Ellis, um, you know, uh, Bud, and then Spence, where do you believe that you lie in that whole, in that category? Do you believe you have something that they don't have? It's hard to say where I am, you know. I'm somewhere at that top five, top six, you know, I don't know. I feel I can beat, you know, most of the guys. It's like, you never know. I always also test myself, you know, when I go to the ring and I see, okay, can I be at, at this level or I can't be, you know, what I need to improve, what I need to do. So it's always I'm going, it's like, like as an underdog, even if I'm champion, you know, I'm fighting somebody, it's like I'm underdog. When I was like up and coming, you know, fighter, I was always underdog. I put myself, my mentality has to be like, it's, do or die for me, you know, I have to win this fight no matter what, you know, I have to do all these things, you know, show my will, show my skills, you know, dig deep, you know, when you need to bite your mouthpiece, you know, down and, and go. I like to be in the fight, that's for sure. I want to give fans exciting fights, you know, so I think I will never have, like, boring fight. Right. And I forgot to put Virgil Ortiz in that yeah. equation because he's definitely in there, the guy that you're going to fight him up, for sure. Um, but nonetheless, if you had, you know, your choice, like if you had your best friend was, you know, the matchmaker and he's going to go for whatever you want, who would be that guy that says, I want to fight this dude and it would change my career completely if I get the like, chance? Like, I'm fight who, who I will fight? Or... Yeah. Like, you know, when we talk about legacy, we talk about money. We talk like about active? the top guy in the division. You did... My like, weight? Yeah, yeah. So it's going Your to weight. be Spence because he has, like, most of the belts, you know, and he has bigger name than Crawford, that's for sure. So he's the one now. And it's funny that you mentioned, like, is my weight, like... Who do you think I was referring no. to? Like, if it was in another no, big class, like, like, the best who fighter would it be? is Canelo, you know. So it's like, I think, I think he's the best fighter. And and uh, you wouldn't play the fight I'm with Canelo. Small. I need to make, I need to put some weight, then I can fight. <laughs>